Colonels. Lindsey Scott hands off to Julian Gums, who's got a big hole on the first play from scrimmage. Into the second level and down near the 20. And then he lost the ball at the end. McNeese recovered after a fumble on a huge run. That's Chris Joyce hopping on it. In front of us from our vantage position today, and Julian Gums gets through the outside and through the hole there. He should be covering this ball up, but he's not. But good job by McNeese trying to pull it away. I think he is going to be called down there as he rolls down. The ball pops out as he hits the ground. I think it came dislodged once he was down on the ground. And Third and four. Scott, pressure coming. Ball is loose that time. McNeese has it, and there is the turnover they thought they had initially. Draw, but good job, and they put pressure from the outside, and good job rushing in there. Leon Young gets that sack and cause fumble right there. He knocks the ball out. Team for McNeese. Yeah, the offensively here, they've got to do better on first down, I think, for those guys, and really defensively. For, turtles, they like, for the Colonels, they like to create turnovers and not those explosive plays, which is that right there. That Another 300-yard passing in his career a couple weeks back against NSU. Throwing here, Trevor Beggy over the middle and right near the first down marker. And half gone in this first quarter. And off the RPO, that ball is knocked out. Looks like Nichols hopped on it, and they did. So turnovers traded in there. In the backfield, on the on the exchange there, Josh Parker, Cody Orgeron, just the ball falls out. And as you see, Shaheen comes up with it. He's been a very good player inside here as a linebacker for Nichols early this season. No score, no score early in this first quarter. Julian Gums back to the ground and picking up yardage. Picks his way for about 12 and a first down. An explosive run to start, and that was a good one as well. Off play action. There is Dejon Dixon. Scott against a four-man rush. Steps up, avoids some pressure. Now he'll throw on the run and has Dantes Costly wide open. Steps out of bounds inside the 20. Second bid in a two-bid FCS for the Southland. Julian Gums up the gut and tackled inside the 10. So Nichols converts on third and three. On third and goal. Lindsey Scott on the move. Seeking, fires to the end zone and caught for the touchdown. Dantes Costley. And the Colonels strike first here in Lake Charles. Six nothing, they go ahead. Trevor Beggy awaits. And that's off the side of Walker's foot. He's been pretty steady all season long for Nichols. That's a miscue there. McNeese with terrific starting field position down a score. Orgeron with time to the air and underthrown looking for Matthews. Coverage from Kevin Johnson goes on. 42 yarder for Jacob Abel. And he's got the leg. Off the post. And inside. Off the post. <laughs> off the crossbar and in. So a true dual threat. And second and 10, he'll run. And there's that elusiveness across the 40-yard line and a gain of 16. Yeah, big yardage. Third and three. Gums again, falls forward, and that should be just enough for uh, the guard uh, center area there, and he got that hole for the first down. Scott fakes the pitch and has a lane. Lindsey Scott, another big run. Runs of 16 and now 25 on this drive. First and 10 for Nichols. Good job by him and watch Devontae Jason, number three on the outside, getting a good block there in the secondary. Best, and we're outside of that. Late stages, first quarter. Lindsey Scott for Devontae Jason, who breaks a tackle, keeps moving forward. 16. He'll throw it. Dejon Dixon, pitch and catch for the score. Easy for Nichols. And Dixon stretches this lead for the Colonels to 13-3 late in the first quarter. Cody Orgeron to throw. Looking deep for Matthews, and he's got him in stride to the 15-yard line. Now a flag is down as well in the backfield. Personal foul, roughing the passer on the defense. Half this to the goal from the end of the run. First down. Now this a third and goal. Orgeron on the run. 
fires. Incomplete to Mason Pierce for the touchdown. Mm -hmm. To start, here's a flea flicker. Orgeron throwing. Trevor Bengi has it to the 35. It's the hole. Here is Orgeron on a slant. Second and seven, McMahon on a reverse. Mason Pierce has some blocking in front. Makes a cut, falls down, gain of 15. From the 36, Orgeron looking for Beggy on the back shoulder, comes down with it. What a catch. Into the ball game. This is Walker Wood checking in and running into the end zone. And McNeese on top for the first time today. And persevere. Yeah, really come back here and get a chance to come out and visit a football game here in the stadium. Part of those renovations that they've been undergoing here. Cody Orgeron to Mason Pierce. Home run ball. And he will take it the distance. 84-yard touchdown. And McNeese extends its lead. That's 20 straight points here at home. Find something. 21 unanswered points for McNeese against the number 13 team in the country, KJ Franklin, with a tremendous catch. Brothers who played college football. Scout to the air again, Dejon Dixon. As he's got with some time, and he's got KJ Franklin. He's hit hard across the middle. It's a first down gain for Nichols. 14 yards, and they convert on fourth down. He bonds. Lindsey Scott looking. Open man and off the hands of Julian Gums. <laughs> up and good. Even with his wrist bandaged up, he's played well all season. Third down, up the gut again with Parker, and he should have enough that time for a first down. Play opportunities, oftentimes in ball games. Fifth-year senior from Lafayette. Moore's are on to throw. There's Josh Matthews. And this McNeese offense is getting into a nice rhythm to start this third quarter. He'll throw again. It's Mason Pierce. Gets a step on Logan Scott. And scampers out of bounds with a 17-yard gain. Marger on to throw again. Over the middle for Matthews. And six more for the Cowboys. They strike from 29. But always a fun one. Nichols offense to work. Lindsey Scott. Tucks it down and steps out of bounds with 17 yards and a first down. Second 10. Lindsey Scott going back towards Dante's Costly. Has him that time on the comeback. Right. McNeese showing pressure. Lindsey Scott stands in, fires, complete to Dejon Dixon. Did he have enough? He did. Yeah. Second and one. Quick throw, Taj Smith. And he's a guy Nichols got back into the fold against UIW. It is Gums. So oh, a nice spin move. So it looked like forward progress did get him forward just enough. AJ Franklin, the motion man. This is Julian Gums with a seam. And he takes it in. And Nichols is back within a score here in Lake Charles. Only for this offense in third. And a big hole for Deontay McMahon. Out near the 35-yard line. Bailey Rayborn is averaging 52 per punt. KJ Franklin's gonna wave for a fair catch and he lost the football. Huge mistake. Wow. You see him giving there the fair catch signal, but just doesn't make the grab. That's Trey Vondenstein hopping on that football. Wow, what a huge turn of events here. Orgeron looking to throw to the end zone from Matthews. And they connect for the second time today. Touchdown, Cowboys. Extra points, no good. Here in the hole for the first time in more than a decade. Scott to throw on first down. 
Fires for KJ Franklin, who makes up for his bobble on the punt. Him around, so he's somebody you have to account for in, in the pass rush. So one way to do it is get the ball out quickly, and Scott finds costly for 13 in a first down. Way they've got to they've got to put points on the board on this drive. Lindsey Scott will run it on third and ten, and has enough for the first down. But it goes down and takes a hit too from Andre Sam. 17 on the ground for the senior quarterback. Firing over the middle, Dejon Dixon takes all kinds of contact, and they move the chains again. 19-yard pickup there. Great job of concentration. To the air again. Dixon again breaks a tackle and walks in for six. So Nichols answers right back. And they go with the Wildcat. This is Deontay McMahon with a seam. McMahon second level inside the 20 and to the house. 67 yards. And the Cowboys strike again. Orgeron. And incomplete looking for Matthews. So no flags down. McNeese does not convert. Now it's a 12-point game. They'll run it again with Parker. Nice job that time. Oh, the ball popped out. Nichols has it. Nichols got the turnover they desperately needed. It's Zach Bernard hopping on that football. They're going very comfortably here for Nichols. He comes out of the, the backfield, and bingo, right there. That's Pig Cage causing that fumble, number 31, underneath. Watch the Pig get in there underneath on this hit on the football. And that ball comes out. Oh, maybe that's not it. Gancy might have knocked it out, 98. Off the turnover, Lindsey Scott. Pressure coming. And down he goes. Scott, but... Heck of a pressure inside. Pressure again on Lindsey Scott. And again, he's going to go down. Isaiah Chambers that time got in there first. Junior from Frostproof, Florida. Nichols going for it here. Lindsey Scott with room to run now. There is a flag down. He'll jump out of bounds for a first, but the flag is in the offensive backfield, and I think this one's coming back. Paul Jones holding. Number 75 of the offense. Penalty is declined. Stop for Nichols. It's Parker. And dropped by Chris Thomas just past midfield. Second and five. Sideline again. Devontae Jason again. Only rushing four. Inside middle of the field to KJ Franklin. KJ Franklin. First and, down. Yeah, just shy of the 40. Scott steps up. And he'll take off. Eludes one tackler, gets past midfield. That's a heck of a job. Of the Cowboys. Fourth and 10. Nichols must have it. Lindsey Scott on the run to his left. Fires up and intercepted by Colby Richardson. And the sealer for McNeese, a gigantic win over the number 13 team in the country.